Okay, today uh, I'm going to test another Seacock uh, Force Bar, uh, the manufacturer of this uh, OEM 93 series uh, Seacock was kind enough to uh, see my work online and send me one for testing. Uh, the OEM series Seacocks are a little hard to find. They don't generally sell them retail because it uses a, a completely different through hole. It's much thicker. Uh, it's a completely different design. So what I think they uh, are concerned about is, is uh, DIYs walking into a, a chandlery and picking up two pieces that don't match and trying to put them together. So what we're going to do here today is an ABYC uh, load test. Um, technically, we're supposed to be at the innermost hard piping, which you can see right behind the clear tube here. I've, uh, I've just put a knot in the hose clamp, and the hose is, is just really there to hold it on the, uh, on the barb as we, as we put some load onto it. Uh, the, the, the test is that at the innermost hard piping, we're a little bit below that, so we don't have quite the leverage we would if this was a... Uh, you know, done the way ABYC wants it, is they want to see 500 pounds uh, for 30 seconds that this Seacock has to hold that before failing. And what we're going to do today is this is the digital load cell here that measures the load and displays it up here. And down here on the other end of the bench I have a self-tailing winch that we're going to use to apply the load uh, to the Seacock. So I am going to load this up and I am going to hit peak hold on here just so that we know where it fails uh, exactly. And here we go. Doing great so far. Making some awfully scary noises though. We're at uh, 400 pounds holding steady. 442 holding steady. A couple more clicks we'll have her up close to 500. I just had a little slip on my self tailor here. There we go, 472, and again, we need to be at 500 pounds for 30 seconds, so there we are, 512 pounds. Yeah, these OEM series Seacocks are quite strong uh, compared to the last one that I tested, which failed miserably. Uh, it blew 200 pounds. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're letting this three-quarter inch Maryland Seacock hold at 512 pounds. Again, we're slightly below this, but you know, I'm willing to give it some. It's, it's severely deformed uh, right now, as we can see. It really wants to peel away from the hull. This board here, this is pultruded fiberglass, um, GPO3 or G10. Uh, it's half inch thick, very, very, very strong. In fact, there's, there's not even a deflection in this half inch G10. Uh, actually, that, I believe that's GPO3. I just had it kicking around my shop. Uh, so again, we're, we've well exceeded the 30 seconds uh, that this Seacock would need to pass the ABYC test. And uh, in fact, it exceeds what a bronze through hull uh, in a valve would do. Uh, of course, I'm not, we're not, this is a proper Seacock, and that's not. But uh, let's put a little more load on this and see what happens. Now, 540. 562, she's holding steady there. Um, pretty amazing. Let's uh, let's take it out of peak hold just to make sure that that's where we are. Actually, we're at 470. I apologize. The line has a little bit of slip. That was our peak. So let's let's bring that up to 500 actual instead of on peak hold. Now we're up to oh, lines. Stretchy. I should have been using Dyneema or something. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're, we're well over the ABYC standard here on a three-quarter inch valve. It's a pretty small valve. Uh, it's very, very impressive.
and uh, we're well exceeding. This is actual holding strength right now. I mean, you can hear that line. It's guitar string tight. Uh, I just tied a cheap bend here, and the hose clamp is holding it on. But again, the valve is deformed, um, but it hasn't failed. And my guess is that the through hole, which if I can uh, take the camera off the tripod here, without making the video horrible. Yeah, we're still, I mean, even with that line stretching, we're still over 500 pounds. You can see under here, there's the through hull fitting. And, and that's not deformed against the, the fiberglass at all. So that seal would probably still be intact despite the inside having lifted and the valve uh, leaning over. Uh, again, uh, you know, with line stretch, we're now dropping down just slightly under 500. Um, I'll kick that up again. Um, you know, holding you know over five, well over 500 pounds. So I think we can safely terminate this test and uh, say that the Marillon OEM series Seacocks clearly meet and exceed the ABYC standards, even in the smallest size made available, which is three quarter. Um, and keep in mind. When I've done this test on regular uh, through hulls, you know, just a through hull fitting with a valve screwed onto it in both bronze and Merlon, bronze failed it slightly over 400 pounds, and a Merlon valve threaded onto a Merlon Seacock failed it under 200. So these are a drastic improvement over, over the other style.